Hey, hi guys, welcome to YouTube and welcome to C and C++ graphics tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put colors in your shapes, basically how you can use colors in your graphics file. So let's get started. In previous videos, we have learned how to create circle, rectangle, arc and different kind of shapes. And now in this video, I'm going to gonna cover cover three main functions which which are set color and set fill style and flood fill all these functions are used to provide colors in graphics so if you're interested in coloring your graphics and making uh, different uh, looking stuff in by using c plus plus this video is for you so let's get started so first uh, let me execute this code here you can see i just have created a circle simple circle let me compile and run this code and here you can see we got the circle now let me tell you something something about this circle here you can see the circle outlines are in white color and let me one, one more thing let me tell you uh, in this video i will show you how you can change uh, border color and how you can put a color inside this circle all these things we are covering in this single video okay now let me tell you uh, something about this circle here you can see the circle has a border and the border default color is a white no matter whatever you create, you create an arc, rectangle, circle, whatever you create, that going to come up in a white color because it's a default color. Now, how you can change that default color, that default white color? It's very easy. You use a set color function for changing the color. Let me uh, write down here. Uh, set color function and inside this you gonna write the color name i will write green uh, as a color name and one more thing make sure you write set color above the circle above all those shapes uh, okay where you want it to change the color now we are uh, setting this as a green so let me compile and execute And here you can see we got the green bordered circle by using set color function. So what set color function do? It changes the default colors now. Colors now. But suppose uh, I wanted to use one more circle in my graphics file. So let's create that circle with the different positioning values, of course. So we can see what's happening. <laughs> Compile and run. Now here you can see we we got the two colors uh, two sorry two circles with the same color but suppose i don't want you to have that uh, same color in my second circle so what in that case what, what i can do i wanted to have this second circle as a blue border circle so in that case what i can do <clears throat> i can uh, once again use set color function but the thing is i have to use that function once again above the that shape function so this is a second uh, circle and above this i will declare once again set color and this will be uh, blue color <coughs> compile and run uh, something wrong okay i forgot the uh, semicolon compile and run Here you can see the first circle is now green and the second circle is now in blue color okay so this is how you uh, uh, give provide basically different colors to different shapes and one more thing let me uh, let me clear uh, no matter whatever you define below this this color uh, set color suppose you defining lots of shapes all these these shapes going to have by default a blue color why because all these shapes are defined below that blue function now if all these shape will be defined um, below that uh, set color green it means all these shapes going to have green color so make sure of this thing okay now let's 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 talk about other functions 
now let's basically now let's talk about what if i wanted to fill uh, color inside this uh, uh, basically let me show you what if i wanted to fill color inside this circle it's very easy what do you do you use a let me just clear this set color option from here basically you use set fill style function set fill style function has two parameters uh, the first par uh, parameter is a pattern the pattern comes from uh, 0 to 12 there are 12 type of patterns solid uh, line horizontal lines uh, square lines all those things are available by default i i'm gonna use uh, solid fill i just wanted to fill color inside that circle and the second parameter is for the color i wanted to have a blue color inside my circle that's it that's all i have to do uh, compile and run but this thing not going to work set fill style not going to work because it works with a uh, flood fill okay uh, flood fill and set fill style works together here you can see and now the border color is white because we have removed set color and default color is white and inside there is no blue color there is no blue color so we have to also use flood fill function so what is the purpose of set fill style here you are just uh, uh, providing style to this function okay uh, the values to these functions and all those values are going to put by flood fill function now let me show you uh, now below the circle this function below the circle function we have to use flood fill function and inside it we have to uh, write down x and y uh, axis and x and y axis will be same as it is the circle one so i will just uh, copy paste these values and now i i have to write down the border color here now uh, i will write down white color save compile and run and now circle must be of blue color let's see here you can see the border is white and the circle is uh, in uh, circle color is blue but suppose if i wanted to have a border also of blue color now that becomes little tricky if i write blue here for the border and compile and run it's not going to work it's not going to work here you can see here you can see it's not working now the question is why it's not working because uh, in in this parameter in this flood fill parameter you write the um, default uh, border color default color value and we haven't used set color so default value is white now right now default value is a white so we have to put white here and if you wanted to make border uh, of uh, blue color so what you have to do you have to change default value of color so to change default value of color we have to use set color and write down the blue here and now uh, let me compile and execute and still it's not going to work why it's not going to work because now pre uh, basically previously white was the default color but now uh, by using a set color function we have chosen blue as a default color now border color will be by defaultly blue and uh, we have selected this uh, style for our uh, color and by by using flood fill we are going to put that color but here you can see we have chosen white not blue now what is the purpose of this uh, basically this third value uh, through this basically we indicate the value for uh, uh, set fill style we just tell this set fill style that we don't want it to cross this color this this color this flood fill color we don't want it to cross x exceed basically we don't want it to exceed that color that's why we put the value here now we have written white here but there is no white color so of course it going to exceed because because there is no restriction given in flood fill 
for the uh, set fill style uh, set fill style going to look for uh, sorry in uh, flood fill we have told that there is a white color white color and you don't have to exceed that that color but, but there is no white color so uh, it going to exceed and all the screen going to be a blue color once again here you can see the all the screen going to be a blue okay now how i can stop this so here you can see we have uh, blue as a default color so the border of the circle is a blue we know that so what we i can tell that uh, in uh, flood fail i can tell that there is a blue color just don't exceed that color don't go outside that color that's all and uh, what going to happen um uh it going to uh, let me tell you here it it going to see a color uh, circle is formed like this okay blue color circle we have and then what going to happen is uh, uh it going to start filling up this and uh, in, according to flood fill we have written there there is a blue color we don't want it to exceed when this color will touch the blue one it will stop going outside this and this is going to happen according to the code okay let me compile and run and here you can see we got the result uh, so this is it for this video thank you so much for watching this video in next video I, we're gonna use all these uh, functions in different shape so thanks so much bye take care sorry for the english <laughs> Bye, take care. See ya.